He's the king of political intrigue, a master storyteller. Now best-selling author Vince Split returns with Consent to Kill. Anti-terrorism agent Mitch Rapp has saved countless American lives, but can he save his own? Consent to Kill by Vince Split. Segment tonight, Vince Flynn writes thrillers about the war on terror. Last year's book, Memorial Day, was a huge bestseller. And now he's out with a new book called Consent to Kill. What separates Flynn from other writers is that his research reads like nonfiction. And he levels serious charges against countries like Saudi Arabia. And actually writes the CIA has assassins on its payroll. I talked with Vince Flynn a few days ago. But you're a controversial guy. I mean, your books make it quite clear that you believe Saudi Arabia is our enemy. Um, how have you drawn that conclusion? After nine, I, I was writing about terrorism before 9-11. After 9-11, I started to look into Wahhabism, which is the radical sect of Islam that started in Saudi Arabia. And the Wahhabis basically have a Faustian deal with the Saudi royal family. And they export terrorism through uh, the madrasas, the schools that they build over in Pakistan and Indonesia. And uh, while, while the leading members of the royal family are our allies, I, I question the society in general. I, I don't think Yeah, they because are. you come down real hard on Saudi Arabia. I mean, a lot of Americans believe this, yeah. what you do, that well, they, they continue to be our, our enemy. It, it is, a, and, and we were, you know, we've discussed this about Hollywood before. It's an extremely sexist society. And, uh, and I'm waiting for a day when you know, Hollywood will eventually come up and, and stand up and do a movie that examines Islam the way they go after the Catholic Church. That, that's never going to happen. No. Um, now, your, your hero is a guy named Mitch Rapp, yeah. CIA assassin. Mm -hmm. Okay, now just CIA assassin, a lot of people going, oh, we don't have assassins. But they don't want to believe that. Uh, and, and in fact, most of these guys that we do have that are doing this are former special forces operators or current special but forces. But we really operators. have assassins. We, I wouldn't. It's, it's one of those deals. It's uh, we. Our government doesn't want to admit that we have special forces operators. But have you found out that we have guys on the CIA payroll who are assassins? No, I can't say that. So this is the fictional part of your book. This is the fiction. This is when I when I created Mitch Rat back in '94. I looked at it and I said. Islamic radical fundamentalism is continuing to be a problem. These people are saying death to America. Osama bin Laden had already attacked us once. He said he was going to do it again. And I felt that we should be out there taking these guys on, not waiting and playing defense. I created the Mitrap character. All right. So it, what you've done is you've taken a character. Because when you, when you read uh, Mr. Flynn's books, it's, it's like reading nonfiction, even though it's fiction. I mean, mm -hmm. you're very well researched. You've been to a lot of these places. Well, it was just over in Amman, Jordan. Right. right. You, you, you know, you paint the village. picture very vividly. And mm -hmm. you go, yeah, this guy knows what he's talking about. Mm -hmm. But you can say, you're, you're not telling me that we have secret assassins running around shooting people in the head. I, I won't go that far for a variety of reasons. I, I have people that tell me things in confidence, and I agree to not put them in my books. I got it. And I, I, but I'm, I'm all for it. Oh, I know you are. Yeah, and you're I mean, for torture too. You're a mean guy. Oh, here. Bill, you know, I mean, the ticking bomb scenario. If you're gonna, if I always say this, it, before 9/11, we had Zachary Masao in, cu in custody. Right. If you could turn back the clock, how many Americans would say, take the gloves off, find out what that guy knew? Maybe we could have prevented the attack. Because this is what makes your book controversial. You're for torture because under Mitch, extreme circumstances. Right, Mitch Rapp does mm -hmm. do that, and then you say that you know we got CIA guys who are assassins now. When you bring the material to Hollywood, because there's no question your books are very entertaining, yeah. sell an enormous amount of copies, yep. so they're, and they're slam dunk action movies. Yep. So you bring your material to Hollywood, and what do they... Well, I, there's, there was a producer at a, at a large studio last year, and we're still trying to get a movie made with that studio, so I can't really say anything, but the producer said, she read Memorial Day and said, I hated it, it was more Bush than Bush. And I'm sitting there thinking, you know, Politics have nothing to do with this. Book. Right. You should be making movies because yeah. you want to make money the, and entertain. The president in the book was a Democrat. And can't we all get on the same page that terrorists trying to detonate a nuclear warhead in New York City is a bad thing? And so I think that their, their hatred of Bush gets in the way of them making a good business decision. Beyond that, I think you know, they're afraid that it might affect their overseas sales because it won't play as well abroad. I disagree with that. And then thirdly, I think that they they think that they will be targeted for assassination if they make a movie like this. Oh, really? I think they'll be, they're targeted for disdain by their cocktail buddies. Exactly. That's what I think it because is. Because you, you stand If you up. make Memorial Day or Consent to Kill, and then you go out to exactly. uh, Malibu, Barbara Streisand will go, I'm not going to talk to you. They don't get it. Hollywood, 
They never understood talk radio. They don't understand Fox News. They don't understand Walmart. They don't understand. Well, the I think they States. understand Fox News because well, they, they <laughs> loathe. They loathe it. All right. I have to tell everybody that these are very entertaining books. Uh, Memorial Day is out in paperback. Consent to Kill is in hardback. Um, you will enjoy them, even if you don't agree with uh, Mr. Flynn's politics. They're very entertaining. We appreciate you coming in. Thanks, Bill. Appreciate it.